Welcome to or back to my channel. I have had a visa for one year now and this is my review. So when choosing a visa, I mentioned in one of my previous videos the expectations that I had. Uh, I had pictured running with her a lot, walking with the dog a lot, um, but in reality I ended up going to dog parks quite often. Uh, I also trained her to stay with me on the bike and she comes with me on the bike and that's because I found her hard to deal with because she pulls quite a lot so I wasn't enjoying the walking and ended up exercising with her in a different way. Apart from that, the other expectations of her being loyal, affectionate, uh, like a velcro dog were all true. Um, she's always by my side and loves people, loves to be around people all the time. The only thing that kind of scares her is actually children. So usually if they have scooters or toys, she might get afraid and bark a little bit. But outside of that, there's just no issues. She rarely barks. Um, but that was one thing I suppose that surprised me. Health wise, she has a very sensitive stomach. So I thought she, at one stage she was very ill and brought her to the vet and we, they suggested to put her on royal canine gastrointestinal food. So she's been eating that for over six months now and that's really settled her stomach and she's had no issues. Outside of that, she wants to eat absolutely everything, but I do have to keep her to that food um, because she does have very uh, sensitive stomach. Also, we had one incident where she ate a large dark chocolate uh, bar and we had to rush her to an animal hospital. So what happens is they actually give her an injection to make her uh, throw up and get the chocolate out of her system and then give you charcoal to try and destroy anything that's left. So that was uh, stressful and worrying, um, but she will eat absolutely anything. So that's one thing I would say if you're thinking about getting a visa, um, just to be cautious of the food that you leave lying around because they do want to eat absolutely everything. So my dog has lived with another dog, so a schnauzer who's a similar age uh, for the last few months, uh, basically because we moved and I found that very helpful too. So she always has someone to play with and uh, mess around with and burn more of her energy. So I did find when I was living with her on her own that it was definitely more challenging because I had to put in a lot more of an effort. Whereas now I go out with her twice a day, uh, sometimes three, and then the other time she has plenty of hours to play with uh, the other dog. Maya has also had a couple of heats, so she's not spayed and I got quite a shock when she had her first one. I was at a dog park, a dog jumped on her and I feared the worst. So I ended up going to the vet and they said the only way to be certain is to get an ultrasound. Uh, and I got that and it was quite cheap. It was only 40 euro and she was fine. There, uh, there was nothing there, but that was uh, a bit of a shock. And I've noticed when she goes in heat that for a couple of weeks, she does get slightly more aggressive, barks a bit more and acts a bit uh, different and out of character. But after the first one, I learned from that. And then obviously I keep away from dog parks and only keep her on the lead when I'm out with her. And um, so yeah, in the end, I think I learned from the first one and going forward, I've had no problem. So to conclude my review, I absolutely love my Vija. She's the best dog in the world as far as I'm concerned. And of course everyone says that and I'm biased, but I would highly recommend uh, if you're happy to take uh, the responsibility of a high energetic dog and um, but if you're looking for like a companion a dog that's really loving and friendly uh, i can't say any more about uh, this breed if you enjoyed this video please uh, watch one of my other videos uh, if you could subscribe as well that would be great or like the video and please comment below if you have a visa your experiences of the first year or if you're considering getting one and um, what your thoughts are and if any of this is surprising that'd be great and uh, hopefully i'll see you at the next video Thank you.